morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Yes. He's so chirpy today then. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a sea day <clears throat> and it's a bit choppy. Video inserted here, show you in a minute. Yeah, we had a good night last night. We had a really, really good night last night. Yeah, watched the show, which was um, Queen music. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. And then went up to the disco and was sitting there with Paul and Sam. Sam. Most of the night. Yeah. Um, bless her heart. <clears throat> cool pussy's going. Um, she badly broke her leg, was it three, four years ago? Or last year. Last year, was it? Yeah. That's it. God, on the catamaran, she fell yeah, over okay. and had a real bad time. She had braces and all sorts of crazy stuff on. And last time, last night, was the first time since that she'd actually danced. Yeah. So on a milestone. But what, yeah, great people. Bless her heart. Lovely couple. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, and ironically, live just on the road from us. Yeah. About half hour's drive away. Yeah. If that. <laughs> yeah. Small world. Small world, yeah. Anyway, today it's going to be a ship tour. Now, you, you'll notice these videos are a little bit shorter than normal. Um, I'm trying to keep them. <laughs> So they don't go over the air a lot, you know what he's doing. <laughs> so today I'm just going to go around the key place of the ship. Most of the Morella ships are all pretty much the same and uh, if you've been in one you've been in most of them. The two discoveries are the same builder and the Voyager and the two explorers are the same. Um, so somebody will correct me if I'm wrong but the explorer or both explorers were ex-celebrity. Um, I think the Voyager was as well but not 100%. And the discoveries were ex Royal Caribbean. Um, we like the Royal Caribbean ones better, to be yeah. honest, the layout of them, but uh, still nice ships. So I'm just going to have a quick walk around because, uh, like I say, one ship is pretty much like another. They try and keep the theme much the same and uh, not going to waffle too much because there's lots of people around. And I'm just going to stick my camera in, uh, in places and see what trouble I get into. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> right. Later. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. So, starting as we did in the Voyager, really, over the ship. Here's reception and uh, destination services. And you'll recognise this from last night. This is where me and Deb were sitting, watching the world go by. Nice area. So these are all over the ship, and again you can uh, you can check on everything from your account, what you spent, all your excursions on here. You got a ship map, and you can book your restaurant and dining. All pretty interactive, pretty intuitive, and I'll show you on the mobile uh, app and on the uh, tablet later. So as well as the consoles through the ship, um, you can get it on your mobile device or you can also get it on a tablet or PC or anything you want. So on here you can look at the cruise news, you've got short excursions if you want to book them, all the dining rooms, literally go into them and uh, you can see every bar, every restaurant, you can see their menus and uh, what else we got? Uh, you can see how much you spent, your account, um, if you've got a problem with your cabin you can report it on here as well feedback which you give at uh, well any time I guess but usually at the end of the holiday uh, and loads of those more as well um, so it's a good little app works quite well um, the only problem I've found with it is when you're looking at it on your um, phone mobile phone um, it uses PDF documents uh, for some reason mine don't open but that's probably just me so also on level five just off reception the dining club this is one of them you have to actually pay for and um, the menu is slightly different to what you see around the ships in uh, in the usual places but uh, so there is a charge to this one but if you want something a little bit special you can come here this is the dining club just like all the other ships as well you've got full maps so 
at any point you've pretty much got these everywhere these top ones and you can see where you are it is difficult sometimes figuring out which is the front and the back of the ship so these do help also a little trick um, because toilets are very sparse on these ships for some reason if you look there it does actually show you where the toilets are as well that can be a bit of a godsend when you're struggling to find one but uh, yeah pretty handy so that's where we are at the moment Deck 5, reception, dining club, destination services and if we go to the back of the ship we will see one of the main restaurants, Latitude and Vista. So a small tip if you want to go anywhere because the ship is a bit disjointed uh, as we've mentioned before with the Voyager as well. Um, the mid staircase is the place you want to be heading. Um, you'll find if you try and get somewhere on deck 5 um, you won't be able to, you'll have to go down to go up, it makes no sense but there you go. But always head for the mid staircase and uh, you won't go far wrong. So we did have to go up to come back down again, but this is Latitude. Um, I think the dining is still going on at the moment, but uh, also here, got a nice little rest area. This is, if you've been on the Voyager, this is flutes, um, I'm not sure what they call it on here but yeah, it's a nice little area to rest in if you can get a seat. There you go, the door's open. Let's have a sneaky look in. I'm sure most of you have seen these before, but there you go. Uh, it's Light 253. Again, we're not going. There are people still having breakfast. Right, next port of call then, up one, deck six. Okay, so at the after the ship, we have got the latitude again. Uh, this is the upper level, but for some reason they've um, not let you in this way for, I don't, I don't know why, it's the only ship I've seen that, but anyway, it is what it is. So you've got entrances both sides. But again, for some reason, they're not letting you in that way. Right, into the lounge. Midship again. Look at that weather. Look at the sea. Look at that. stick one of those in here, hopefully there's nothing playing. Oh, it's bigger than the Voyager. There you go. I'll sort of cinema to chill out in as well.
Yeah, as you can hear, <laughs> it's not the place to be today. Uh, for some reason as well, they've got the bottom half of the show lounge cordoned off as well. So we'll head upstairs. places blokes want to avoid. Um, I heard some of the agents could make it down that way, yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay, another one of the paid restaurants, Surf and Turf in Corolla. If you fancy something a bit different. Let's have a look at the menu. Uh, heading towards the squid and anchor, which apparently it's time for the captain's talk. We won't disturb him. There's two entrances to this. So, what we got going on here in the evening? We have quizzes, live music, and all sorts of game shows and things. So, this is where most people will go to, um, especially when the Broadway Theatre kicks out, and you cannot get a seat for love and money in here. So, come early. Right, next one is eight, and that is mainly for kids. You've got the gamer zone there, and you've got the attic. So we may skip that one or have a quick look round. We shall see. And then nine, not much going on apart from the kids club. Ten is cabins and all the entertainment, food, everything else starts on deck 11. So again, best to attack this one from midship. Um, if you've been on the voyage here, you'll recognize this as the exchange. Um, here it's the attic, I'm not going to go in there because it's a quiet area and it's for people reading and it's a library and just a place to chill out. And on the other side you've got the gamer zone 
uh, somewhere you can dump your teenage kids for a little while and get rid of them. <laughs> so we'll walk in. I think we're okay with this one. So there you go. Consoles, bean bags, everything you'd ever need. So I think now we'll head up to 11. Um, it's going to be a bit tricky today because uh, the open areas are quite windy and quite <laughs> quite horrible to be on. So um, here you've got the sparring gym at the front. You've also got the snack shack and the pool area um, in the middle, midship obviously. Uh, marketplace, which is where you get your food from, or where we tend to dine quite a lot. And the Mediterranean, where we was last night, having a pizza. It's a bit lighter than last night. <laughs> and the place we had a fantastic pizza last night. <laughs> right. Let's head through to the kitchens. Oh, the marketplace. I'm getting the ships mixed up. Braves a full deck. out there right a place you might want to think about going but might not there's the gym all right let's head up to one of the best places Might have been here a few times. <laughs> now you're going to have seen this in the videos already, but in the daytime it's a bit different and hopefully it should be nice and empty. And it is. Yeah. Almost. There you go. There's a place you recognise some previous videos. A place we haven't been yet is the casino area.
Spooky, spooky, spooky. So that is a quick tour around. Um, for smiles and giggles, um, I was going to say, it might nip up um, another level, but looking at things, yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, the, the sea is really rough today, as you can see. And uh, they've pretty much closed all the outside areas, which is understandable. Just in case you fancy a little bit of pampering, okay, down one level, you've got the ocean spa. There you go, quick tour round. So a lot of places today you can't get to, or oh, they're being occupied at the moment. So back to the cabin, see the wife. Ah, is that cabin boy? <laughs> best, ca best cabin boy ever. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go and see what the wife's up to. Hello. <laughs> Falling asleep. Oh, not good. No. Weather's not good. Is it not? Oh, not good. Most of the outside areas closed off. <laughs> so you weren't able to talk very much then? We had a little tour. Are you filming me? I am filming you. <laughs> well, I'm not feeling great. <laughs> well, the ship's doing that. We had a little tour, but there's lots of places occupied at the moment. Oh, right. Who's we? We. Me and the camera. <laughs> Me and the internet. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. uh, let's have a quick look out the window again. Yeah, it's um, it's getting worse if anything. A few moments later. Afternoon tea. Thank <laughs> you. 
in Madeira. Yeah. Yes. A little early. Came in a little early, yeah. So um, we're just going to get ourselves some food. Right for dinner. We're off to see the show, which is pop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So. Lots of number ones, apparently. Hmm. We'll just see and what the lives here. Oh, lives here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just feels like these lifts have that attitudes. <laughs> just when it goes ding dong, it's like they're going, okay. <laughs> right. It's um, chicken for you tonight, isn't it? It might well be. Ooh, we shall see. Right. We'll see. Let's go find it. It's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in um, Squid Manca. <sighs> so loud. See how they were doing the game show and oh god, the presenter. Wow. It's got a very distinctive voice. Very, very loud. Yeah, so now we're in the theatre waiting for pop. Oh. <laughs> For a change. <laughs> Oh, 
<sighs> I thought we'd better do the video early rather than walk down the corridor oh. and get some negative comments that were waking people up. So we're in an empty lift. Yes, and we're going home with a Coke. Diet we've been Coke. On, we've been on Diet Coke all night. Okay. Well, yeah, right up. Yeah. With a little bit of a cardio. <laughs> yeah, my whiskey doesn't have Diet Coke. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, heading back to the cabin. Been another good night. Brilliant night. We've met... Oh, oh, uh, Eve it? and Rafe. Even Rafe, I thought it was yeah. Rafe. Yeah, Good. wrong side this time. Wrong side, woo, hold on, come around. So, um, yeah, yeah. Have a couple of people, I'll drop that. They Just were lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is going to be a rubbish video, but anyway, they, uh, they all are, <laughs> <laughs> some might argue. But um, yeah, we're um, heading back to the cabin now, so I'm going to be quiet. Well, so, uh, should we say goodnight now? Yeah, say goodnight. Goodnight. Yeah, goodnight, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and we're back in the cabin. I've got another lovely surprise. Today, we got a polar bear. Look at him. Bless him. And we still got our lovely ducks. Lovely ducks. <laughs> lovely swans over here as well. Yeah. Dee Dee's looking after us quite well. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah. Isn't he? Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah. Guy, he's an ex-island escape person. And he knows how oh, to look. At, yes, he knows how to look after people. Uh, yeah. He learned his trade well. Though. Oh yes, good old island escape. Yeah, yeah there's right. nothing like it. My shoes have gone to come off. <laughs> right, wave good night to everybody. Oh, good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everyone. Yeah, we're getting um, a bit of a collection. <laughs> look at their love heart swans. Oh, oh look at polar bear. Oh, so talented these people. It's amazing. <laughs>